Hey, welcome to the channel. Um, you've arrived at the new golden age of hard rock. And cheers. Here's my uh, newest uh, hard rock cafe glass I picked up over the summer in London. So uh, cheers. You know, um, when I got this glass, it was the last glass that they had. And I'm like, seriously, the very first Hard Rock Cafe is down to one glass. And the uh, the guy working there said, we're getting a shipment in tomorrow. And I'm like, well, I'm here today. Anyway, glass was secured. No problems with it. Took the last one home. Um, you know, hey, the channel, I'm probably going to get into a video about this whole five-month suspension. And now it's indefinitely suspended. And they say I can... Um, a, Peel once more in December, but I'll probably get into that whole story, but on another video. But for now, it's been five months. The channel was suspended. I couldn't upload any new videos to the channel. And there was a lot of stuff that happened over the summer and over those past five months that I would have liked to have commented on. Um, and one of those things was uh, the passing of Bernie Top Bernie, almost said Bernie Toppin, Bernie Marsden of Whitesnake. I think probably people that watch this channel would know, but Bernie was one of the original founding members of White Snake. Um, that the late seventies, early eighties blues, bluesier White Snake. To obviously be separated from the late eighties, a different version of White Snake. Well, anyway, you know, so Bernie came on um, in seventy eight when they started with that very first EP, Snake Bite. Now let's just see if I can. Remember all these in the right order. You got Snake Bite, the EP, then Trouble, then Love Hunter, Ready and Willing, Come and Get It, and his last one was 1982's Saints and Sinners. There was also an, a live album in there in 1980, Live in the Heart of the City. Well, anyway, so that was Bernie's run. And the whole band was basically reshuffled in 1982 and the the reason why was because there was no money nobody got a big payday from those first five albums of white snake um in fact when the band in 82 when it came to a head they were two hundred thousand dollars in debt and that's after putting out five studio albums a live album touring i don't think they were touring very big in america but they had toured all over uh europe 200k in debt. Thankfully for Bernie, he didn't really make any money during that initial run. But when Coverdale would put together the 87 White Snake team for the 87 album and Slip of the Tongue, they reworked some of the songs that had been originally written back in the late 70s, early 80s. And luckily enough for Bernie, some of the songs that they used became hits in the late 80s. Um, Fool for Your Lovin', Crying in the Rain, and most importantly, Here I Go Again. I think uh, it would be safe to say that Bernie made more money off of his co-writing credit on Here I Go Again than off of anything else that he did in his musical career. But anyway, sadly, you know, Bernie passed away August 24th of this year, and he was 72 years old. And I guess 72 is a good run. I don't know. Personally, I'm hoping to at least get 82 out of Hell, I'm hoping to get 102 um, out of life. But uh, you never know what life is going to throw your way. And it's sad that he's gone. And another thing that I think is sad about the whole thing is... People really don't know who Bernie Marsden is. Sure, I know, you know, people that are obsessed with this genre of music, we know who he is. But to the average uh, person who listens to music, even music back in the day, they have no idea who Bernie Marsden is. A um, little side story. The day after he died, so it was out, if, if you were interested in this kind of stuff, that he had passed away. Well, the day after he died... I went to one of those tribute rock shows, um, <laughs> the affordable rock shows these days. Not for just one band, but this particular one does the whole just like the 80s kind of thing. And there's a couple of them in our area, in Northern Virginia, the D.C. area that uh, do the 80s type tributes. And 
This one I actually like because they do more of the hard rock that was out in the 80s versus, you know, the ones that do prints and stuff like that. I mean, it's still a good time to go to those, but just personally, I like the ones that are going to play more rock music. Well, this one does, and I'd seen them before, and I knew for a fact that they did a cover version of Here I Go Again. So I'm expecting that that song's going to come up that night, the day after Bernie passed away. And it was either the last song of the night or, or last song of the main set, or it was the last song of the encore that they did. It was, it was one of the two, but you know how it starts out, right? It's keyboard lead up, plenty of time for anybody on the stage to say, hey, I'd like to dedicate this song to Bernie Marsden. Crickets, nope. So here's even a band that plays music, that plays the song, plays other rock songs. No even, probably don't even know who Bernie Marsden is. Um, and I think that's just kind of sad that Bernie will live on on channels like this and in uh, the hearts and minds of the people that follow this kind of music. But for the most part, the music industry, there's not going to be any credit given to uh, Bernie Marsden for anything. And that's, that's sad. I guess that's just the way that it is. But so... What I'll do, Bernie, is I will say, here's a pint in your honor, Bernie. Cheers, mate. Until next time, keep rocking.